it's been fun. You know, it's a dream that you wish your whole life and you get it out. It's a lot, but it's just fun. It's ball and it's at the highest level, so it's just a good deal. You say it's been a lot. Has, has there been one part that's, you know, been maybe a little more overwhelming than another or just something you weren't necessarily expecting or how's that going? No, I think it's, just, it's not your job, you know, like before you think you're in college and you think it's your job, you know, but now you have no other responsibilities. Like this is your only job. And so the expectations are just higher, you know, from, from others and from yourself is the way it should be. So a lot in the sense, it's like you want to, you know, you want to play good ball, but like playing good ball before doesn't mean playing good ball now. You got to step it up a lot. Your ability to kind of coordinate people and communicate out there in the field too. How tough is it now to do it when you're learning everything new? Yeah, no, it's definitely um, it's definitely a challenge, but it's one that I welcome and I'm excited about. And it's something that you're gonna have to grind through. You know, it's not gonna be perfect, but you know, like I said before, if you start to set your expectations high and expect a lot out of you, because that's gonna help the team. You know, you just want to help the team the best you can. You get to this level, and you just want to be you just want to be a productive mo- member of a, of a ball club. I was just going to say, do you consider that a strength to the ability to kind of communicate and, uh, you know, get people around you where they're, where they're supposed to be? Yeah, I'd like to think so. But, you know, it's whatever you thought was a strength or a weakness before, you got to kind of have to clean the slate. And it's, it's new ball. You know, no one really cares what you did before. So you got to go put it forth here. How much pressure, if any, did you feel these couple days to, to make a good first impression on the coaches here? Yeah, no, that's definitely something. You want to make a good impression. You know, if it means a lot to you, then you feel that. Um, but you just want to channel it the best way that you can. And I think the best way to do that is to prepare the best you can so that you feel confident, you know, just understanding that mistakes are going to happen. And it's, it's about what you do next. You know, it's, you're not going to come out here and play perfect practice. You know, you're never going to do that. So to think that you're going to do that on the first go, you know, you're just kind of setting yourself up for failure. But it's, it's how you respond to that. How important is it to impress them on special teams as well? Yeah, that means the world. You know, that's like that, that's what you come here to do. You know, as a, as a rookie, you want to. Like I said, you want to help the ball club in any way, and, and special teams is, is the first and the best way to do that. What's the process like, I guess, in building camaraderie on a new team, getting to know your new teammates, maybe in the locker room and, and on the field? And how, how's that going? Yeah, fortunately, I had a little bit of practice with that because I had transferred my last year of college football. Um, but, you know, now it's grown men. So you go, you, you do that in college. But, again, like I said, things are just different. So you want to come out and you want to be respectful of people. You want to, you know, show them that you know them and that you care about them. And that's something that this club – preaches is knowing your vets, knowing your guys, because the best way to make a connection is to know that person. For you, well, once, you got to, once you transfer, you, you stacked up a lot of tackles. Like, what was really the key to that, Like, just always being able to find the football so well, and how can that help you at, at this level? Um, I think a lot of it's preparation. You know, you try to – the coaches know a lot. You know, this is their job, and they, they've done it for a lot longer than I have. So trying to listen and hear what they have and then try to, you know, understand that and compartmentalize it so that when you're on the field, you can kind of put those things to practice. I think the better you can do that, the more success that you'll find. You know, and that's not just on defense, that's on special teams too, because there are a lot of great tidbits. You know, Coach Hawk's been preaching in this short, this short couple of days that I've learned a ton and I'm excited to put to use. What did the move uh, do for you in terms of it possibly helping you get to this point? Yeah, I think um, I, I'd lived in Maryland my entire life. Um, so, you know, moving to a new state was important because that's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing here. You know, I'm not from Tennessee. never visited Tennessee when I was playing in college, but, you know, you've never been here. So, you know, getting that, it's a little uncomfortable, you know, when you move. So getting that kind of under my belt so that this go around, it's a little bit more comfortable and it's a little more natural. Between the draft and coming here to, to sort of fill the time and, and get, get yourself ready. Yeah, you just try to stay in shape. You know, it's, it's tough to simulate football shape. You know, you can run a bunch of wind sprints, you can go do conditioning, but when you strap the helmet on, it's just always different. But, you know, doing the best that you can that to, to get in shape because you can't really show what you can do if you're, you know, you got handcuffs on your lungs. So that was definitely a big part. And then the mental portion, you know, just like learning about ball. You know, I didn't, we are uh, really fortunate and we were able to, you know, meet with some coaches and learn some things, but it's, you know, on your own, like there's a lot of stuff that you can do on your own to be a football junkie and just try to learn defense, try to learn special teams and kind of see what, what you can take from there to bring. Here. What are you looking forward to maybe what's next after, after this camp's over, meeting the veterans, being on the field with those guys, and what do you anticipate that being like? Yeah, I think you just you want to take, because there were a lot of mistakes out here, so clean those up so that when the vets come, you know, you, ultimately you want to earn the coach's respect, but you want to earn your teammates' respect. You know, there's a, there's a difference between a player next to you and a teammate. And I think a, a good way to show that you care about them, other than building that relationship, like I said earlier, is, you know, respect them by doing your best. Because if you come out here and you put, you know, poor tape on the field, it, that's disrespectful to the guys next to you. So, you know, there's a lot of mistakes out here, but try to clean those up so that you can kind of show that respect and that care for them.